Music playing. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hold on. Uh, here we are oh. with. Hold on. Oh. Oh. All right. Do we have sound? We have yeah, sound. Yeah. So, we have uh, sound. We Hold on. With... Hold on a second. All right. Different camera view. Welcome to. Funky Friends. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. With our host. Hold on, here we go. Funky French, <laughs> June 17th, 2020. We're not in our uh, sort of permanent Funky French TV studio digs yet. We're building it out. So we're in mm -hmm. my office at the Funky French Music mm -hmm. Store. We're back in the music store. Here's Kelly, my daughter Kelly Thompson, and Hello. TJ Thompson. Your grandson, yes. my son. Yes, my grandson, grandson. TJ. <laughs> with with host... one of our vintage... Funky Fred's t-shirts. I'm the only one not wearing wait, one. Wait, wait. Are you actually wearing one? No, nope. I'm not. Oh, but um, with our host, Papo, and co-host, uh, Mom, and <laughs> technically other host, but sound effects also, and jokes. Yes, and, and jokes. I yep, do so have my Mighty Uke shirt on. Mighty Uke day, yes. Yes. Mighty so, Uke day. So TJ always starts us always off, starts us off yeah, with so a joke of the day. Why can't you never trust in Adam? Mm. Because they literally make up everything. Ba-boom! Oh. Hey. All right, there you go. Right, thank you, TJ. I'm supposed to be doing sound effects. Now we'll have sound effects here. <laughs> yep, all right. So let us know in the comments if your sound goes haywire at some point. We're always uh, we're we're not professional <laughs> audiologist. All right. All right, so here we go. Kelly with the news. Uke news. Uke news from wow. around the world. We should have had a photo of this, but... The long-awaited Kala Sparkle ukuleles are Damn. coming in. And they're shipping now. Yeah. Dazzle. They're they look like they're covered in glitter. They come in pink, blue. It's like a teal blue, gold, and red. So we have some pre-orders that will be shipping out once they come in. Uh, and I think then we'll have red and gold available. So if you're interested in those, we'll have two gold and two red left after our pre-orders that were done in January. In other Uke news, the T-Bug Uke Fest, November 6th through 8th of 2020, will now be held virtually. It's $50 for three days, I believe. Check out their website, though, for more info. They have Gerald Ross, Daniel Ate the Sandwich, Mim PD Mac, Devin Scott, and more, with 16 workshops, three play-alongs, yeah. and lots of other things going on. So and I know that and more guy. He and plays more. every festival. <laughs> He's at every single festival. He is at every festival and wow, more. he must be making out pretty good. <laughs> and so you got that, yep, right? Yep, yeah, the 16, 16 more, workshops, yep. three play-alongs. I'm sure yeah. PD Mac is doing one of the play-alongs. Yeah, a, I think him, Devin, and Mim are doing a dance party, right? I believe. Yep. And we have Strathmore. Um, in August, August 14th through 19th, they'll be going virtual too. That's so you may be thinking if August Festival and November Festival and Funky yeah, Frets there Frets. in the middle. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We're still just kind of year on hope <laughs> yeah. that we can come together with all of you and enjoy our ukulele music with yeah. you all. So we're Some still, things might change. but Yeah, we're still hoping for a live event with everybody. So it, on that note, early bird tickets are still on sale for Funky right. Frets. That ends on June 21st. And if you get an early bird ticket and we do have to do something else and cancel it or, or virtual. virtual or something, that ticket will be good for 2021 21. at that same price. And we'll probably raise the price. We haven't raised it in a, a, a few while, years right? now. Yeah. Three years, I think, we've been at the same price. So. Yep. 
And then the tenth annual Silver Creek International well, Youth Carnival. Cameras to phone, right? <laughs> is I was wondering why we kept looking down. Yeah. So we're using okay. Hodgepodge here. So, trying to hire camera now. Yeah. Um so the yeah, the Silver Creek International Youth Carnival, they decided to cancel this summer's event. Yep, yeah, so it's a it's a moving target. Yeah. As everybody Strange knows around world. the world. So I hope everybody's surviving. Especially as they start open things up. So this gets wacky. So what's next on the agenda? Up next, we have we can either do our uke tip of the week with Kurt. Or trivia. Okay, trivia? Do yeah, let's do OE trivia first. Yeah, okay, sorry. Trivia. Cool. Ready? Here we go. We have some trivia. Let me pop it over there. Introduced to the ukulele by a Hawaiian shipmate during his stint in the Navy, this 1950s TV and radio personality helped spark the ukulele, second ukulele craze. This might be an easy one for some people. Yeah, it might be. All right. Or maybe they'll think it's too easy and they... Yeah. <laughs> so drop your answer or guess in the comments. Below. Yeah. Let us know where you're watching from, too. It's always weird. Not knowing who's out there watching. Yep. <laughs> might have a prize, might not. Later no. on in the show, yeah, we, we never know when we'll give a prize out too. Right. So, uh, later on in the show, we have the new outdoor guitar that we'll be showing and the outdoor banjolele. We'll show that after our tip of the week. So stay tuned for that. Do you want to tip of the week? Of okay, the we'll week? do a little mini. Uh, let's save camera. We'll do a little mini lesson here. A little mini, mini easy lesson for a strum that gives a lot of people trouble. And this strum is a reggae strum. Used a lot a lot of songs. It's actually used, it's the strum used in Brother Is's uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So we'll use that song as an example of get this. So it's just simple chords, the C, E minor, A minor, F, C. We'll do the intro. Right. Not all people believe E minor to be simple chord. <laughs> yeah, most of them are simple. But here's what you do: uh, all rhythms and strums can be broken into parts based on the number of subdivisions per beat. And a reggae strum is you subdivide the beat into four, which would imply an easy way to do it is count to four each beat. So what we'll do is. You strum down with your thumb, brush it. it, is used a low G. He actually took a Martin standard set of ukulele strings and basically moved all the strings over one lower and put the lowest string to C up higher. So he made his own low G set before they were popular. So strum down with your thumb on the one. So we'll count to four each beat, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, or strum down with your thumb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you'll strum up three, four. So we're gonna, so we're like, a, this is fo is strum, but it's pretty close. And you can even hit the fingerboard. They actually, some tab notations have them. They give you too much detail, but mm. grab a C chord. So it'll be one, two, three, four. So down with the thumb, one, one, two, and up three, four. You can do that over the whole thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It sounds a little uh, rushed, so what you do is the second beat, you'll do just strum up on the three. So one, two, three, four, stop them. One, two, three, four. So, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now you can pick that up, all right? So one, two, three, four. That's it. That's the if you play like that and those yeah, that's... Oh, it was quicker than that, he did it. Practice and perseverance. And don't worry about <laughs> hitting and beating up your ukulele. This is my really good ukulele and ten years old. It's character. When you're getting all these nicks and dings on it, it shows love and, and character. <laughs> yes, it'll have stories. All right, so. And there's various 
suggestions you can do on that, but that's a good starting strum, and that really gives you the reggae. If you do it super fast, it's ska. Mm. All right. So, are we getting any trivia answers yet? No, Scott so, is quiet okay. this quiet week. Quiet as cat. This yeah, it's nice out quiet. now, right? People are probably so, out and hard work. <laughs> onto our new oaks or yes. something? Yes. So, we're going to feature, right? Yes, our okay. outdoor. Outdoor ukulele. And now guitar. Outdoor ukulele is a father and daughter ukulele builders out in Oregon, right? Yes. Yes, and we're one of their dealers. Very durable. Yep. Nice. They're you great. You can get them here at Funky Frets. Yep. They come in a cool box. Uh, nobody ever gets a gig bag or case for them yeah. because they're, you just really lug cool. them and carry them around. We're in our wow. store, so we might get store traffic. So, Kelly just disappeared. Oh, really cool oh. box. Yeah. Check out the box. They're like, it's like an Apple product. You open it yeah. up and there's foam and everything. It comes with a sticker. It fits right in there. Yeah, yeah. See that? That's pretty cool. So it's a great case. Some people color them. and Yeah. You can look up uh, Ralph Shaw a video on his. has a song about building your own ukulele case out of cardboard and tape. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So these are the, this is the soprano and tenor, which are the two sizes that they have had. No concert available yet. Kurt will demo that. Yeah, the only thing that uh, you'll see pictures people have taken these outdoors a lot and the tuners will rust that's it but that that's character i don't know are they even on the outdoor ones or just like yep, the, on the outdoor stuff? ones no the outdoor ones this so, is metal this is the only metal up here so just make sure you dry that part off before you yeah. put it away these well, are really do, cool. Should we do side story of how durable these are? <laughs> yeah, yeah, side story. Kelly can testify to how durable these are. They survive a lot. TJ and I were out headed to Vermont, and we stopped in Connecticut along the Connecticut River. And there was boulders everywhere, and I thought, oh, man, let's go get the Instagram photos, right? So we're climbing on the boulders. I fell. I slipped, went totally like into the river, parallel to not to, into the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Landed on the uke, face down. I landed on it. That is what broke my fall. Totally wow. the uke, and all it had was a little nick right on the side of the nut, and I think one of the strings was nicked up a little bit. Not a scratch or dent or anything anywhere else on the uke. We have to get a picture of that. We sold it to our friend at a discount. Yeah. Scratch and dent. <laughs> yep, scratch and dent sale. We have to get Rob to send us a photo of that. Yeah, we have to get so, some of our pictures from uh, California. Yeah, we took one out to California, got some cool photos, and we went to Nam. Yep. So they're very durable. They're a great investment, and the sound is good too for yeah, a lot of the outdoor, amazing. like yeah, you would not think. outdoor ukulele company, but other options are not as good of a sound. So currently in stock, we have the carbon soprano and carbon tenor. We have a green soprano and green tenor. And then we also have a white soprano. And, and the blue is back ordered till the end of June. They're show, out of the show the these product. Now. Yep, the banjolele. Banjo ukulele. Oh. Needs to be tuned again. <laughs> we just got these in at like 2 o'clock. They came to the door. <laughs> One of them has a white. Frosted, the other one, did we? Yep. Frosted head. Frosted head. Nice. And those, the banjolelis that we have with the nickel hardware is $245. Yeah, very nice. Tune. Tune. The other one's more in tune than the. Oh, wait, they say they sound a little different. The muted one is a little more. I mean, the, the yeah, frosted one good. is a little more muted, I believe. So let's find out. Now be sure, here's a little tip, if, you, if you're going to be at a jam with a banjo ukulele, make sure you can play pretty well, because you're going to be the loudest person there. So, alright, that's pretty cool, these are really cool. 
They sit really well on your lap also, the big bald body. They say that one's more A B test. It does sound different, right? How much just for the box with no you? Yeah. Or how much? That's funny. We'll, people will buy ukuleles from us and they'll get a gig bag or not. But they won't take the boxes that they came in with. Bob them. Gross wants to know how much the, for just the box. Not everybody takes their box <laughs> when they get a, a ukulele, uh, outdoor ukulele. Nobody says keep the box. Here. I got the note, yes. But Bob Gross wants the price on just the box. Yeah. You're not getting the joke. I know, just it's the Bob box. Bob Gross. I know, Bob Gross, yeah. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Right. So repeat our trivia question and then we'll show the outdoor yeah. guitar. Yep, t t Bob. I tell your I tell your three legged chicken joke all the time. Oh, you have to save that for next week. <laughs> yeah, Bob's uh, hilarious. He is hilarious. Um, yes, so, you want to do the trivia question again? Trivia we're... question. See, if we get some answers. And somebody came in here. Introduced to the ukulele by a Hawaiian shipmate during his stint in the Navy. This 1950s TV and radio personality helped spark the second ukulele craze. He actually had, I think, a total of nine TV and radio shows combined. Oh, he, that gives a hint. He actually, this is something that doesn't happen nowadays. He promoted the Macaferia plastic ukuleles, which sold like nine million or something back then in the 50s, and never took a penny in endorsement fees or nothing. He was just a big fan of Marco Macaferia, and he sold Hawk the ukuleles. Gave a ukulele lesson on his show. Isn't this a new world we live in at the store? I have to keep my mask yeah. tucked into my pants now. Never know when a customer will Yeah, do we need in. to... Do we, what? Do we need to do the show with our masks? With our masks? I don't think so. Hurried. <laughs> We're our social hand, distancing. You're more than six feet away from us. Very good. handmade masks from yes, Burn. Very good. What's this? this oh, the, check it out. Let's go. Giant thing. ukulele. No. The uh, six string. Bop, it's a no, it's a guitar. Tuned. How's it tuned? Tuned like a guitar. Yeah, tuned it just like the guitar. <laughs> so these just came out over the winter this past year. Yeah, I actually built myself a stand-up desk. Figured it'd be really good for you. You did it for a while. So, but ultimately, what I did was I bought a taller chair and, and sat down. And now my chair is <laughs> backwards. I built it out of wood and everything, so it was nothing fancy. But this is a. find a guitar is too big to take on a in a 15 passenger van with full of 15 kids people and camping and equipment adults yeah so i looked to for south dakota Where I, south yep. Or yep. I researched a uh, travel guitar i wanted to get a little travel guitar something like this or something but i stumbled back to the ukulele i had a ukulele like about 30 some years ago but i couldn't figure it out then and there was no material out there. No YouTube? No, no, no YouTube. <laughs> Library didn't have nothing. No learningukulele.com site? No, to no, yeah, there was no comp most comprehensive ukulele learning sites in the world. Uh, AKA so I didn't, I didn't get it for the trip, but I did from uh, a ukulele world in Texas, Roy Cohn. I got a uh, tenor Lana Kai. Lani Kai. Lani Kai ukulele. <laughs> Almost got it back too. Somebody was going to uh, sell it back to me like a couple of years ago. So if you're out there, let, let me know. We'll get it back. It has a historical. Did he like raise the price? No, I don't know. He was going to trade lessons, and oh. so we can still do that. So yeah, it, it has a historical back. and historical value. Value. Yeah. This is nice. I'm, this is cool. 
Mm -hmm. What's the biggest thing about ukulele is they're so small. You can have them laying around the house. You can have them next to you on the couch. You just pick it up and you'll play a lot and you'll learn a lot. So the, this guitar would do it the same. So that's bass notes. Very cool. So Betty said, I looked it up. Is that cheating? I said, yeah, that's that's our hook to get you to watch the whole show is to find out the trivia answer. <laughs> so, yes, the outdoor guitar. $345. Ready to ship yeah, today. Really nice. Oh, tomorrow. And I'm going to show the back. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if that serves a I don't know. It just looks really cool. Function or yeah, it's just like the cool. uh, banjo ones. It's pretty cool. You could look through. Yeah. Make some great photos. Oh, that would yeah, be these cool. These are nice. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So we have two of those in stock. Made in the USA. And then we have one each of the banjolele, the clear, and the frosted yeah. head banjolele. The uh, intonation is great. Knock on wood. We haven't come across any. Yeah, issues with yes, the outdoor they make them right there and it's the molded in everything is molded in they check everything before it goes out yep. and they these don't need any setup in fact i don't even know what you'd be able to do yeah, you wouldn't be able to set them up you come really nice the action's pretty low very easy to play these are using these deodaria xt classical guitar strings that are really nice i think we have to pick a harder question we have two people got right so far yeah they would yeah <laughs> I don't want them too hard though. It's very cool, yes, yeah, so if we get the answer or wait. Oh, I think we're going to look end right there. Yeah. What's that? Little shorter shows. We have yeah, shorter to shows. We're going to. Our guests on yep. back. Oh, show that. We didn't show that one. Yep. There's a picture. Yeah, from their website. Outdoor Youth Guitar, yep. yeah. Very cool. So, if you ever go anywhere this summer with your outdoor youth, be sure to tag us in your photo. That's what we should have put up. We don't. I never think of stuff till after the fact. Yeah. But we have a few customers. Jackie sent us a photo of her youth while she was camping. Our ukulele shirt, shirts and up. bags have gone uh, around the world, don't you? Yes. We love seeing photos of tag us, bag us. Our, <laughs> bag uh, us. Joe, Joe posted a photo in our youth fest shirt in Paris. Nice. That was cool. Always wanted to go there. And then we had uh, Kirby. He's down in an island. Was testing it Bahamas cameras, or, right? I forget. He tagged us in his photos a yeah, lot. That was cool. See, here's the difference between uh, we're using the iPhone for the photo, and the one on the uh, left is just the uh, FaceTime camera on the iMac. Wait, which one? Which Big one's difference. left? Left. Which way? Yeah, the one with the green shirt. The green shirt is, is good because the... that's what this is, and the one with the gray shirt. Is <laughs> which is the FaceTime camera? The, the phone is the gray shirt. The no, computer the is the green oh. shirt. The one with the better color. The green shirt is the phone. Right. Yeah. And the, the gray shirt is the, the computer. Yeah. Weird. Hmm. Okay. So the phone's better. There's good cameras on phones. So we had Kathy and Bob. They got it right. Nice. Our answer is Arthur Godfrey. Arthur Godfrey. Yes. So. Good job, guys. Very good, very good. <laughs> Don't forget tomorrow night, if you go on meetup.com, look up Linda's Ukulele Club and find the details on songs to be sung in a genie bottle with Jack Kohler. Right. He was on two or three weeks ago with us. You check out uh, Jack's uh, new video he has out where TJ did a lot of the artwork. Yes, pretty that cool. Was cool. The animation. If I, what and was it? Uh, if I were a princess. Yeah, if I were a princess. It's pretty cool. It's really neat. He asked a bunch of kids. Randall's grand yeah. child did it. I think Charlotte's, someone in Charlotte's family drew a picture. Yeah, TJ. So he took all the paper, like drawings from the paper and he animated them. And So look up Sirloin Sassy on YouTube. Subscribe to that and check out TJ's artwork. All right. So if you have any announcements you want to make for festivals and, or even any your events, club. virtual events or yeah. club. Let's I do know. post a lot of festival information on my learnitukulele.com, the most comprehensive ukulele site in the world. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag Glenn. <laughs> I do that. A lot of festival stuff up there. Oh, boy. Cameras, you can see everything. <laughs> Darn. Makeup. Your hair is cut. <laughs> Makeup.
Whew. We don't, you can tell we don't yeah, this relate is a, back here. Yeah, this is a filter that we I We may put have on. showered today, <laughs> may not have. What? <laughs> Whew, man. TMI. Yeah, too much information. We're, All right, I'm so that part. is the, uh, let me see. I think we have music here, don't we? Closing nope, music. Not yet. Yeah, we do it when we go out, yeah. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. Yes. Send us your, yeah, any info of ukulele happenings. We'll Hit announce. the bell, yep. Yeah. Um, spread the word, yeah, spread, spread the, the word. word. We're trying to build up our viewers. Thank you all of you that have tuned in each and every week. We appreciate you joining on board our craziness. And uh, yeah, also if you have those videos that you want to be featured, Marstown Uke Jam sent one of their club doing a song when we first started. So right. thank you for that. And anyone is welcome. Yep. We're not looking for professional videos. We're looking for everyday ukulele players singing and playing. Warts and all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nope. So do I have background music here? I don't know. If yeah, not, maybe not. Start to sing and play. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Grab your uke and yeah, sing us out. Like the, uh, <laughs> you don't want me singing.